Hey guys, this is gonna be a bit of a serious video compared to my other videos because I've been thinking about this a lot and I feel like I need to express my concerns about this. So centaurs, am I right? I love this creature when it is in books and Harry Potter. It is just so cool and they're always like warriors and with a bow and arrow and I love centaurs, okay? Like half horse, half human. I'm not a fan of horses. I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm really sorry to all of you who love horses, but centaurs are like damn so attractive, especially the main male ones. They always have six packs, but I always think about their anatomy and how it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. So I looked up some pictures of centaur skeletons and I'll put the pictures here so you can see. I'm okay with this, okay? Like, there's a huge spine, first the human spine, and then you have the horse spine, and then in between there's like hips or shoulders. That part where the human and the horse connects, is it like a pelvic bone? Or is it like a shoulders horse bone? Because I'm not sure, because obviously like horses have four legs, but it should be like shoulders and legs. Or do centaurs have four legs and two arms? Or do they have four arms and two legs? I guess they have four legs since they're walking on those four hooves, legs, I guess, I assume. But does that mean they have two spines or they do have one long spine? Or do they have two hips or two shoulders? I'm, go I'm gonna say they have two shoulders and two legs. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that, that, I, that is what I think is my conclusion. But that's not even the most complicated part, okay? So when I looked up illustrations of centaurs, the genitalia is always at the back, okay? And I think that makes quite a lot of sense because if it was at the front, like, it would be as, like, the height of, a, like, the face of, like, a child, you know? And you don't want to be, like, meeting a centaur, like, hi, and then just be, like, face with their, like, penis like right in your face, right? So that is my conclusion. The, the genitalia is always in the back. But that means that the butt also has to be in the back, right? Like that makes sense. And But usually when you see illustrations of them, they always have a cloth in the front. But what are they hiding with that cloth? Like that isn't even where the where the dirty stuff happens, you know? Like those are those are the questions. But and now comes the difficult part, okay? Those are just like the beginning of it, the surface level of this issue. What about their organs, okay? So what I've concluded is that their lungs has to be where the human is, right? Like the respiratory system. Because, because obviously they breathe through their mouth, so that's where the lungs has to be. But then like the heart, is it, is it at the top and then it has to pump blood all the way to like the bottom areas, like, that's that's a long distance to pump blood from the head to the, 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 the hooves over the foot. Do hooves have blood in it? I don't think so. But that's not the point. To the foot of the, the horse at the back, like, that's, that's a lot, a long way to pump blood. But then the most difficult part comes. What about, like, your intestines, okay? Because you eat here with your mouth up here with the horse, right? So you swallow, swallow it, but then it doesn't, your, your stomach can't be where your stomach is. Or maybe your stomach is, is above the hips, and then somehow the intestines go through those shoulder hips, and then it comes out the back? I don't, I don't know guys, this is, this is something I've been wondering for a long time because either they have some really long intestines like going through their hips or shoulders which just seems so strange and like gross or like where is their liver and kidneys and all that stuff you know and then there's like if they don't have all that stuff like I mean what is what fills up the other space because obviously they have like two parts that have usually have the lungs but then only I guess they only need what, like two pairs of lung halves. So then all this like rib cage space that is on the horse, like what is what is that protecting exactly? I would love to know, and this is like the questions of my life. I, I don't I don't understand. This is this is hard. <laughs> I don't get it. It's so confusing, and I want an answer. And if I ever write a fantasy book, 
the genitals are gonna be in the front because that'd be so interesting. And I'm going to explain this stuff if I ever write a book. That is that. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you like this, then I'll make it a series and I'll, I'll question other magical creatures' anatomy. Like, like mermaids? Like, how, how do they reproduce? Seriously. Um, so if you want to see part of that, part two, then let me know in the comments and tell me what you think. Because I've been wondering, man. Uh, I've been really questioning this. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope, I hope you're able to sleep tonight after this video. Bye. Mm -hmm.